everyone I'm your fave nurse B today we're gonna talk about um, what you can do to get prepared for nursing school now I already have a video about this and it's talking about like what you can do in your life to prepare for nursing school but this is more specifically like what can you do to study to prepare for nursing school now I know this is gonna be helpful for a lot of you because so many people have um, misconceptions about nursing school or they know that it's gonna be hard and they're like what can I do to freaking like get a head start you know so the first thing that I would say do is make sure that you look up medical terminologies abbreviations things like that so um, that includes like I said abbreviations so like learning what AC and PC means you know like um, I think the actual Latin terms for it is like antecedent antecedent anti-sebum and um, I forgot the other one sebum but anyways it means like before meals and after meals because some doctors will still write orders using those abbreviations or you'll see them in nursing notes things like that I mean and then also if you look up terminology then you'll learn that something like uh, hydrocephaly so we know that hydro means water and then cepha has to do with the brain so that means water on the brain but just looking at that word it can be intimidating but once you learn medical terminology prefixes suffixes and um, roots words of medical terminology then it'd be really helpful for you when it comes to learning about different diseases and things like that and it won't be so intimidating so that'd be one less thing that you'll have to learn when you actually get into nursing school so then my second tip is that maybe you can start looking at nursing math. So a lot of nursing programs actually have you do a like dosage count test prior to getting into nursing school. It's part of your, um, like, it's part of what you have to do to get into nursing school. So if that's not the case, and I would definitely say study for it and look up different videos and just see um what it is like to do nursing math and like uh drip rates and flow rates well i should say drip factor and then flow rates how to find out like uh the right correct dosage all that good stuff is basically going to help you when you get into nursing school but especially if math is not your strongest uh subject um, i would definitely say look at that you don't have to go too crazy though yeah i just look into it just get you just want to get um you want to just be familiar with it you're not trying to master this stuff before you go into nursing school but you want to have some familiar hour you want to have some familiarity familiarity you want to get familiar with the subject matter y'all okay <laughs> because once you get in nursing school it's gonna be so many things like hitting you so then my third tip is so there's some nursing programs you go into where you have to do your prereqs well you have to do co-requisites while you're in nursing school so if you all don't know what i mean like i'm going to do a video all about prereqs co-requisites all that good stuff but anyways um there's some nursing programs where you have to take like amp english psych something like that before you get into nursing school then there's classes that you can take that aren't necessarily nursing classes they're like science classes or maybe a math class that you can take while you're doing the nursing program but you have to take those classes before you um, test out of the nursing program if that makes any sense so an example would be like a and p2 so most nursing programs want you to have a and p one before you go into it technical schools are different totally different but most of them want you to have it but they don't require you to have a and p2 they just say that you can take a and p2 while you're taking nursing classes now look that's gonna be extremely hard y'all trying to do your nursing classes and on top of that add in another science class or history class or anything like that it's gonna be hard on you going into a nursing program you want to just focus on your nursing classes so if given the opportunity while you're waiting to get in nursing school or if you got like a summer break before nursing school definitely take one of those co-requisites or all of your co-requisites prior to getting into your nursing program this is going to free up so much time so much mental energy so that while you're in that nursing program you're not trying to finish a co-requisite that you could have got done before you started the program so 
that's my third tip my fourth tip would to be some people might think like okay should i look at books should i start reading nursing books should i start doing things like that y'all don't go too crazy this is like i said you just want to get familiar with the terminology you want to get familiar with the math you want to just kind of get an idea of what it is to be a nursing student you don't want to go too crazy but if you're one of those people who's like i just got to do something to get prepared oh my gosh <laughs> okay this is what you got to do <laughs> And I'm not saying this to be an a-hole, yeah. I just know that there's some people out there who are like type A personalities who just feel like, what else can I do? Like, I'm so anxious, I just need to know what to do. So, another thing that you can do is to just do, um, do NCLEX questions before you go into nursing school. You're probably not gonna know anything about anything, but you can still do some practice NCLEX questions before going into nursing school. But they had us do this in school. Like the week before we started nursing, the actual nursing program, they had us come in and we did like, um, we did a class that taught us our learning style. So I definitely suggest that you learn your, your uh, learning style before going into nursing school because it will help you to understand how you should focus your studying to get the best results for you specifically. Um, they also had us do uh, some medical terminology like I told you all and then they had us like read this book that was about like managing your time while in nursing school okay and then before we started fundamentals they had us do NCLEX questions about fundamentals like I said we really didn't know anything you know but they still had us sit down and get familiar with doing NCLEX questions but I'm telling you when you're in nursing school you're gonna do so much freaking work it's probably best before you go into nursing school to just take a break. Um, but if you want to get prepared, get prepared. There's nothing wrong with that. But I want to leave you all with this. You know, um, definitely watch my video. So something else you can do is talk to like the guidance counselor or somebody in admissions at the school that you're going that you plan on going to and just ask them to help you understand more about what the program um asks of you and kind of like the structure of the program because partly some of the things that people have anxiety about going into nursing school is you don't know what to expect and i'm going to do a video about what to expect but you need to learn specifically what that school requires of you what happens like as far as do you get a summer break do you get a fall break do you get a spring break you probably will um you want to know like uh somebody had asked me she was like she had been told that if you flunk two tests or whatever then you would get kicked out of nursing school now that might be the case with some schools but some schools i know at least with me my school they had us uh you had to get a certain percentage you had to pass the course with a certain percentage i believe it was 75 percent um and if you didn't pass with that you didn't pass that class and you got kicked out the program so you know just know that you gotta know that um but don't get so wrapped up in what it what's gonna happen like oh my gosh i'm gonna kick, get kicked out of nursing school if you ain't even start school yet like don't think about this stay positive know you're gonna get in know you're gonna complete it and know that you're gonna be a nurse okay so that's something i would say is to talk to somebody at the school just to get a better understanding of what the program is about also you might want to see if you can talk to somebody who graduated from there already um and look at different nursing forums um allnurses.com is a great nursing forum and then also you can go ahead and go on our uh, facebook group your fave nurse b i'll leave a description and i'll leave a link in the description box can i get over and you can ask questions on there it's growing more and more so you can definitely ask questions on the facebook group um and you can also help somebody else you never know so definitely do that also what i would say is y'all look at the end of the day there's only so much you can do to prepare for school yes you want to be prepared yes you want to know as much as you can before going in but don't let the anxiety of what's nursing school gonna be like how am i gonna get through it am i gonna pay like don't think about stuff like that if you are working to get into nursing school if you want to become a nurse just focus on the fact that you're going to be a nurse don't focus on all the things all the obstacles that could stop you from being a nurse don't think about that like just literally do not think about that type of stuff 
it's no reason to think about that because you're not thinking about oh my goodness how am I not going to be a nurse you're thinking about how am I going to be a nurse I want to be a nurse I'm going to be a nurse don't think about the negative stuff y'all that that's just it's it's not worth it you know don't I was this is so random but I was watching this interview uh that Oprah did with RuPaul y'all I love me some RuPaul uh, he is a man of my own heart um after my own heart I should say and uh he was talking about how he realized that he was addicted to anxiety he was addicted he said he used to always be late everywhere he went and he said he realized he was just addicted to that oh my gosh oh am I gonna get there on time oh ooh, child oh he was addicted to that and once he realized that it was an addiction he was able to rid himself okay yeah I might fall off this uh dashboard okay he was able to rid himself of being tardy everywhere he went come on can we get over yeah i'm on my way to work we got this uh computer training my job is finally going to computer job and um i'm just gonna do this quick training but i've never come around this time the traffic is a little crazier but anyways so yeah like i said he realized he was addicted to anxiety and i think a lot of us we get so wrapped up in the what ifs of it all what if i don't pass what if i what if i fell out oh my goodness what if i don't what if i'm not smart enough what if i'm not this what if you just go into the program you do well you succeed you become a nurse what if that happens and that's what you want so think about what you want loves think about what you want so that's my little spiel about that um Thank you all for watching. Remember, I am your fave nurse B. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I want to know you all. What are you doing to prepare for nursing school? For one. I also want to know. What do you feel is going to be that one thing that's really, really, really going to help you get through nursing school? Like, what is what is your motivation what is your drive like what is that thing that's going to be like when you like oh i can't do this what's going to be that one thing that's like yes you can it's going to pull you out of it so that is uh, my tips for you all i hope it was helpful when if i come up with more tips i'll do a second video or i'll continue it on our facebook group your faith nurse b you can also follow me on snapchat under your faith nurse y'all we got these geese at my job i hope they don't try to attack me I gotta go in but anyways um also on instagram stay forever true number one and then you can also check out my um second channel stay forever true i have videos about um mommy videos because i am a new mom um hair videos food videos whatever it's a lifestyle channel so thank you all for watching peace